Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jaded Blossom. It's day two of our July release and we are showcasing a bunch of cute stuff today. I am using the Somebody Needs Coffee stamp set today and I'm gonna be making a quick shaker card. So um, I'm using Paper Tray Inks white card, card stock and I'll be using, um, I'll be making a vertical A2 size card. So that's 4.25 by 11 inches, scored at five and a half. I'm using my Martha Stewart scoreboard again and my Teflon bone folder again to do this. Um, I just think this is super, just a super cute little little sweet card. I love the stamp set. So I'm using Doodle Bugs. Um, that was Hoppy Easter. I'm using the plaid paper from that. And I cut that out at um, just an eighth inch short of 4.25 by five and a half. I just wanted just a tiny little bit of a border, but not too much. Um, and I'm applying that to my card using my Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. It gives me a little bit of time, uh, wiggle time to get it lined up because, you know, that's my biggest problem with it. Um, I colored my image, um, my bunny image, with Copic markers. Uh, they'll be listed on my blog, but I used V20, V22, V25. I used E43, 42, 41, 0, C0, C1, C2, C3, R20, and R00. Um, just to quickly color that, I cut it out using my brother's scan and cut with a 0.4 inch border. So now I also use the coffee slider die and I cut out a, the coffee cup um, out of the same pattern paper. That's the Hoppy Easter Doodle Bug pad. And I cut out the white uh, plastic top for that um, using Paper Tray Inks white cardstock, the same as my base. So I'm just applying that to the top of the card. This is actually a slider uh, card that you can put a gift card in or whatever. You can actually use it to make a, an actual, you know, shape card with. Um, but this time I'm, apply I'm applying it to the front of my card. So now I also, I cut the little sleeve out um, using the Paper Tray Inks uh, craft card stock. And you'll notice that I use the uh, stitched um, circle dies and I cut a circle out of it um, using um, Jada Blossom stitch circle dies for that. Um, I'm going to be making a shaker card today. I'm using an, M an MFT shaker pouch. Um, a lot of these, um, you know, shaker pouches will fit in your existing dies. You just have to measure them and see which one fits. And Jada Blossom has a die that fits, so it's perfect. So I got some of those shaker pouches. It's kind of makes kind of makes an easy shaker card, right? So I'm using my um, Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue to um, pop that shaker uh, pouch in and I'll be wiping off any any boo-boos here with with my finger and just um, putting it down also um, I like how you know you can keep your card relatively flat and um, still you know have a lot of room for the shaker pouch I just like it it's it's nice and clean and handy so I have a kind of a a stack of those in my stash that I use. They also have a square one that fits Jada Blossom dies too. I've used that in the past. So I'm going to be filling it up with um, different um, little shaker bits. The, those are 24 carats from Trinity Stamps. I'm using uh, Bunny Pop um, from Trinity Stamps also. And then I'm also using Cartwright's um, Crystal Clear, or no, Moonshine Sequence. They're the little three millimeter ones. And I'll be filling the shaker up with those also. And I love how those turned out. Um, they just look so cute in the shaker. I just, I just, I love a shaker card. So the bunny, um, I don't know if you noticed, but I sort of colored it, um, you know, not fancy coloring because I'm not a big Copic colorist, but I did add, you know, some shading with my, with my colors. And I also added some, you know, dot detail just to give it a little bit of interest, make it look a little textured. Um, the image is such a a sweet image. Jada Blossom has a bunch of sweet images and they have adorable sentiments to go with those images. And uh, it's always fun to color them up and use them. So here I'm just gonna be applying that, um, the little coffee sleeve to my coffee cup. Um, and I'll be using my craft tacky glue to, to stick that down from Simon's stamp also. I'm just making sure I have enough little carrots and, and enough little bunnies in there. Um, it's just kind of fun. There was actually some carrot um, pattern paper from that Hoppy Easter, the uh, six inch pad from Doodlebug. And I was going to use that, I was really close, but I really wanted to use those little carrot shakers and it was just too much carrots. So I decided to go with, with something a little less busy. 
I like the busy though, you know me. So there we are. I've just got to stick that down now with some of that craft tacky glue, like I said. And, um, you know, nice thing about glue is you got some wiggle time to get it in place. And there we are. I'm just going to add it to my coffee cup. Isn't that cute? So um, basically, I'm just going to be adding, to, adding this to the front of my card. And then I'll be popping up my bunny on there um, and adding a sentiment. And then that's it. It's super, super fast shaker card. And, uh, you know, people are always surprised when they get a shaker card because they're super cute. They look like they're difficult to make. They're not difficult to make at all. So I'm going to have it sort of hanging off the side of the card. And I'll be popping the bunny up uh, with some foam tape. I believe I use 3M foam tape for this. And there we go. So I'm going to apply this to my card now. Um, I'm going to use some ATG tape. And I'm just going to run it down on the actual card base before I stick my, um, my shaker coffee cup to it um, that that will hold it really well I love doodle bugs plaid papers isn't that so pretty I just love their plaid plaid papers it's just so pretty I, I kind of took the color clue um, cues for coloring my bunny um, from the pattern paper it, it kind of always works better when you can you know sort of you know take some color cues from your pattern paper and then you know color accordingly um, I'm just trimming off the where it hangs over the edge now with a pair of scissors. Super simple. Um, not, not rocket science, let me tell you. But lots of fun. You know, it's always good to decompress and make some cards. And it's super cool down here in my basement too. That's another nice thing about having a craft room in your basement because in the summertime, it's certainly cool down here. So here we are. There's my cute little bunny image in front of the coffee cup. Isn't it sweet? I just love, I love bunnies. Um, one of the owners from Jaded Blossom, they, they actually have a little bunny rabbit. So they're kind of bunny, bunny people. So every once in a while, you'll see a bunny image in Jaded, uh, for Jaded Blossom's releases. And that's probably why, because, and they're the cutest, aren't they the cutest? You gotta love a bunny. We actually, my daughter actually had a bunny named Velvet years ago. It was the sweetest little thing. She loved that bunny. And of course, the bunny hated me for some reason. I have no idea why. She could like dress the bunny up. She could hold it upside down, like, you know, on its back, carry it like a baby. I would reach in to do anything with that rabbit to feed. I was the one that did all the work with the rabbit. But uh, of course, the rabbit just growled at me every time I reached in there. She never bit you, but she would growl at me. And of course, loved Chelsea, just loved her. I was just, it was, it was so funny. Anyway, so this is the little um, sentiment, bunny kisses and latte wishes um, from, the same stamp, from the same stamp set. And I'm using um, Jada Blossom Word Bubble Dies. That's what I cut that bubble out with. And I'll be popping that bubble uh, word bubble up also. And I think it just turned out adorable. That is on um, Paper Traying's white cardstock also. There we go. So I'll just pop that up. And isn't that sweet? I just love the look of that. Now we just have to add um, the little carrot to my to my car to my to go coffee cup. I'm putting that right on the front. Um, like I said, I I colored that image with Copics and I cut it out with my brother scan and cut with a 0.4 border. Um, so super easy. I'm not much of a fussy cutter, so I try to avoid that when when I can. So there we are. Isn't that sweet? I'm going to be adding some Nouveau crystal drops in simply white. Because, you know, I love my crystal drops. I can't help myself. So I'm just going to be adding a few little droplets. I tend to, you, you know, uh, arrange them in um, groups of three or at least in odd numbers around my card. It just, you know, makes it look pleasing to the eye. Um, and there we go. I just think it turned out super cute. So that's about it, really, for this one. I'm just loving this little image though. It's the sweetest. There's a bunch of, uh, there's a couple of cute uh, things, you know, cute pro products today, but I went with the bunny because you know, I, you gotta love the bunny rabbits. There we are. It's super cute. And I think that's about it. I'm gonna add um, some Copic marker just to define the lid a little bit. So I'm just adding some, um, I think I showed you that one. I think it was C1. 
and I'll just be adding it just where the stitching is. You know, nothing, no crazy blending or anything crazy. I'm just sort of adding it where the stitching is to give it a little bit of definition. Um, and that's about it, really. I love how this one turned out. I think this one is a must-have, definitely. Because you could even use this little bunny at Easter time, I think. That would be super sweet. And isn't that cute? So I'm just going to add, um, I think I used C0 also to sort of blend it out a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's about it, really. So are you loving the release so far? Yesterday's stuff was super cute. I love those new slimline dies. Um, I love the new stencils. Those are adorable too. Um, all my design team members, they have adorable projects to share. So you want to definitely go check out Jada Blossom's blog and um, check out all the adorable projects that they're sharing. And there I'm just going to use a zero just to sort of, you know, lighten it up a little bit. And that's about that's about it. Quick shaker card. Didn't take any time at all. And you can whip one of these out too. No problem. Like I said, you can get those MFT pouches and they do fit the Jaded Blossom, um, some of the Jaded Blossom dies. You just have to measure and figure out which. But that's all. Thank you so much for dropping by. And we'll see you again tomorrow. See you later. Bye.